everybody. So today is Thursday. That means it's time to continue on my list of my top TV movies of all time. And this week we are at numbers 31 through 40. And this is a really fun list uh, with a really diverse group of movies, which is really fun. 40, I have Charms for the Easy Life. And this is based on a book that I loved. And I think it was really well executed. It's about three generations of Southern women uh, who uh, live in North Carolina. And uh, they, it has very well cast. Gina Rollins, Mimi Rogers, Susan Mae Pratt are the three generations of women. Of course, Gina Rollins is like a legend. Mimi Rogers is great. Uh, I think that uh, it's really well done and it's a good story if you like things like still magnolias and things like that then you'll really like this uh this movie and number 39 i have the most wonderful time of the year this is a hallmark classic <laughs> uh it stars brooke burns who's great and really likable as this woman who has this single mom of course she's dating the king of business and uh who's like this jerk and uh but he's like stable and whatever that's such that's such a trope but it's really really fun and uh her uncle played by henry winkler who's delightful comes into town and uh, while there he sits next to this guy the chef uh played by warren christie who uh they end up he he decides that this Warren Christie guy is the better fit for uh for his niece and so he has all this uh all these shenanigans to keep them together and uh it's really fun and cute Christmas movie and I think you'll like it so anyway I have that at number 39 Number 38, I have a really fun film called Mr. Boogity, and I reviewed this for Family Movie Night. So uh, if you want to check that out for Disney Scares last year. And I was really, really charmed by this movie. Uh, it's, uh, it's like an old school family scary movie uh, with the way all the effects are and all the, it, it's, it's directed by this guy named Oz Scott. And I think he did a really, really good job creating like classic kind of spooky movie for kids. And uh, it's, it's actually not that long. It's only 40, 45 minutes. Uh, but uh, it's about this family that moves into this house. It's like a haunted house. And uh, at first you think that like, because the, the dad is like a novelty salesman. So he's like always playing all these jokes. But it turns out that this house is being haunted uh, by people who lived there 300 years before. And I don't know, I just really thought it was very charming. And, uh, and I really enjoyed it. Number 37, I have The Birthday Wish. This was from Hallmark last year. It was one of the best they've ever done, in my opinion. It's super charming romantic comedy. It has Jesse Schramm playing this woman who's like good at her job and competent and smart and I don't know, just a pretty good character for Hallmark. And she, uh, but she has this uh, assistant who works with her, played by Luke McFarlane, who is super charming. And uh, she one day has makes this birthday wish and she is going to the eye doctor. She looks into the eye doctor thing and the viewer thing, and she gets this little glimpse of what her life will be like in 10 years. And uh, she, uh, she you know, kind of freaks out because she sees her assistant, but she's never looked at that in that way. And I don't know, I thought it was really a clever take on the whole sort of family man kind of idea. Uh, but um, it's just this one little instance of what her life could be like. And uh, I really, really, uh, in, really enjoyed it. So uh, it's good. The birthday wish. And I really like Jesse Schramm and Luke McFarland. They're great. So then the number 36, I have High School Musical. This is where this ended up on the list. This is pretty iconic for Disney Channel. Uh, if you have this incredible cast that they got together uh, with, you know, of course, Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, 
uh, Ashley Tisdale, Corbin Blue, great cast. The choreography is really fun. The songs are really fun, in my opinion. It's just a fun time. I really enjoy watching it. I don't understand people that are like, this is the worst thing ever. I think some people are just like determined to dislike anything that's for like, I don't know, for like younger girls particularly that it's just like everything that they like is is terrible and horrible and i i disagree i thought it was really charming and it has such catchy songs uh at number 35 i have cranford <laughs> we talked about return to cranford last week this week we're talking about cranford i love elizabeth gaskell she's my favorite writer and i love this movie it, like it's amazing to me how they she was writing in the like 1850s and she was able to get such modern independent characters like these women are like they might speak in maybe sort of old-fashioned way but their actions and choices are actually quite modern and they're very independent they're very self-reliant the very beginning of the book is basically like i don't need anybody to to tell me you know what to do and we don't really need men and it's really fun and i mean this this movie has the best cast ever judy dench julie mckenzie melda staunton uh, i eileen atkins it's just loaded with dames and british talent and it's so charming it's so well acted it's the best Next, for 34, I have A Crown for Christmas. And this, I think, is the best of the uh, Hallmark Princess movies, with the exception of maybe one that's kind of a Christmas movie that they will have coming up, I think, next week. Uh, but this one is so charming. If you like Cinderella stories, it's really well done. Rupert Penry Jones is the best as the prince. He's so He's so dreamy to me. And uh, you have Danica McKellar, who's great. And she's so good at like being sort of emotional and true. And she plays this woman who's trying to help sort of support her siblings. She gets this opportunity to go and be a governess for this little girl and, and in this you know mysterious uh, land like in all these movies have. And uh, you've got this handsome prince and... Uh, and it's just a really fun Cinderella story. I I can't imagine like hating it. I just don't. It's just so sweet and, and simple and and well done in my opinion. So there you go. Add that at 34. Number 33, I have Zombies. This is, I think, the best of the Disney Channel musicals. I think it is very well done. I think the message is really, uh, of course, relevant and sweet. It's basically about this, there's this world where there's zombies, but they're able to kind of keep them in check. And uh, the zombies end up getting introduced into the high school. And so they are, they are treated badly. I liked the lead performances. Megan, Meg Donnelly is great. I thought all the songs were really good. And I just really thought it was very well done. And I liked all the production design. The choreography was really great in all of the numbers and I just really enjoyed it. So I have zombies at 33. Number 32, I really debated because I, they might, I've heard that they might even do a season two. So this is definitely, I don't know, might not be really a movie, but anyway, I counted it. Howard's End and I love Howard's End. This just premiered this year in the United States it's, it, and um, I loved this series. I love the book Howard's End. I love the movie with Emma Thompson and Anthony Hopkins. I think it is such a great story about these different classes of people and how they all interact and has so many fleshed out characters, so many dynamic characters and, uh, and like characters that you think are going to be the villains, but actually aren't. And you feel really bad for them at certain points. And there are no villains. These are just people. And I love, like I said, I, I just love the story. And I think this is really well executed. Haley Atwell, Matthew McFadden, Julia Armand, Tracy Ullman, uh, like incredible cast. Uh, I, I think that, uh, it's just really great. And I, I thought they all had chemistry and I thought they all felt like family. And I, I really liked Haley Atwell and Matthew McFadden's chemistry. I thought they did a really good job. 
And, uh, you know, it was cool because the Little Women on BBC this year was very disappointing. And so on PBS, and so this was good to have this that was so excellent. It actually aired on Stars. now that I think about it. Um, but, uh, but anyway, it's that kind of a thing. So it's good to have one that was good this year. I said Little Women wasn't. Number 31, I have A Country Wedding. This is one of the best Hallmark movies that they've ever done. Uh, it's really sweet. It stars Autumn Reeser and Jesse Metcalf, and they play basically like childhood sweethearts. And he went on to go and become this country music star. He comes back uh, to actually plan his wedding, but his fiance isn't there. And he's kind of just like settling for something that he thinks makes sense, not, not really in love. And uh, his uh, childhood sweetheart, played by Adam Reeser, help, ends up helping him to plan the wedding on like her farm or whatever. And as they, of course, as they interact more, they, you know, they remember and he, it's just really, it's really well done, really good script and, uh, and really great chemistry. And I just think it's really good. So I have that at a country wedding at 31. So this is a really, really good list as far as I'm concerned. Really like all of these movies. I have uh, at 31, Country Wedding, Howard's End at 32, Zombies at 33, Crown for Christmas at 34, Cranford at 35, High School Musical at 36, The Birthday Wish at 37, Mr. Boogity at 38, The Most Wonderful Time of the Year at 39, and Charms for the Easy Life at 40. So there you go. That is my list for this week. Let me know what you think. If you've seen any of these films, I would love to hear. And thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you later.